An electrophysiology study, also called EP study, is a cardiac catheterization that allows physicians to test the electrical signals of the heart. It's also used to evaluate the risk for abnormal heart rhythms, and if and used in concert with an ablation procedure, can be used to treat abnormal heart rhythms. An electrophysiology procedure is an outpatient procedure, which means it can be performed with the child coming in and going home the same day. It generally lasts three to four hours, although it may last longer depending on the complexity of the arrhythmia. For greater details regarding this procedure, please speak with your physician or nurse prior to the procedure date. During an EP study, our patients are brought to the cardiac catheterization lab and are usually placed under general anesthesia so are asleep during the procedure. After being prepped and draped, catheters, which are long flexible tubes, are generally placed through the vessels in the groin and advanced to the heart. Once they are positioned in the heart, the signals can be used to analyze the normal and the abnormal conduction tissue. At the University of Iowa Children's Hospital, we are one of the few centers that are able to perform many of these EP studies without the use of radiation. However, in some cases, a small amount of radiation will be used to assist with catheter guidance. Catheters are placed in the heart, which can record electrograms of both the abnormal and normal conduction tissue. The heart can then be tested for abnormal heart rhythms by pacing the atrium and the ventricle. Additionally, medications can be given in attempts to increase the likelihood of finding an abnormal heart rhythm. If an abnormal heart rhythm is found, then an ablation can be considered. At that time, a separate catheter is placed within the heart, which has the ability to either freeze or burn the tissue, depending on the location of the arrhythmia. At the University of Iowa Children's Hospital, we choose to use either cryotherapy or heat therapy based on the location of the arrhythmia. The cryotherapy is more reversible, so we typically choose this if the arrhythmia is near the normal conduction tissue or an area which could be damaged. Once the ablation is complete, then repeat testing is done to confirm appropriate treatment of the arrhythmia and also to confirm that there are no additional arrhythmias. The catheters are then removed from the body and pressure is applied to the catheter insertion sites. There is nothing left within the body and no sutures are needed.